Hey guys, Mrs. Sirota here, and we are going to be talking about adding decimals. We're going to work on some practice problems, and then I have an assignment down here at the bottom for you. So you've already watched Mrs. Ray's uh, lesson and notes video, and so I'm going to discuss um, a little bit about my step, my process for doing this, and uh, show you how to turn these into problems that go uh, that line up on top of each other. And then again, you have some practice at the end. So this is topic two, uh, lesson four. Your purpose for learning is I can add decimals using place value and properties of operations. So again, your purpose for learning is to learn how to add decimals. So the first thing I've written down is line up the decimal points. That is the most important lesson you need to learn in adding and subtracting decimals because you already know how to add and you already know how to subtract. So we're adding in a step, line up the decimal points. Step two, add. Make sure decimal is in the sum. If you don't know by now, the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So basically this says make sure the decimal is in your answer. All right, the first question I have is 0 0.82 plus 4.21. Now, how in the world am I going to write this into a problem on top of each other? Well, being as though it's addition, these can go in any order. I could put 0 0.82 on the top. I could put 4.21 on the bottom. I'm going to opt to just pull this piece over so I don't have to write the whole thing again. 0 0.82, 4.21, 4. Point two one. Now, this is what I mean by line up the decimals. If you have a decimal, you need to make sure the decimal in the second part of your problem is directly underneath it. And then, friends, you need to make sure that you put that decimal in that same line in your answer. It can be a hair obnoxious, but it can't be completely obnoxious. But make sure we know it's a decimal. Please don't give us a dot like that. We can't see that. We, we can't see it. Make sure we know you have a decimal place here. All right, now we add. That was step one, line up the decimal. Now we add. We've already made sure the decimal's in the sum just by doing the lineup. Two plus one is three. 8 plus 2 is 10, put the 0 here, carry the 1, just like regular addition. 4 plus 0 is 4, plus 1 is 5. The answer is 5.03. That's how you do this. That's it. That's all there is to it. Second problem, 9.1 plus 7.21. All right, well, because I like the bigger number or the longer number on the top, well, no, I'm just going to keep 9.1, but I'm going to rewrite this one. So I have 9.1, and then I have 7.21. Now, notice how I lined up the decimals, right? But I also am lining up by place value. This is the hundredths place value. This is the tenths place value. This is the ones place value. And the decimal point lining that up allows us to line everything else up in place value order. So now we put our operation sign out here so we know that we're adding and let's add. One plus nothing is one. Two plus one is three. What do I put here but a decimal point big enough so that your teachers know it's a decimal but not crazy big. And then uh, seven plus nine is 16. So your answer is 16.31. And that's it guys. Line up the decimal points, add, make sure your decimal's in your sum. That's it. Okay guys, 0 0.26 plus 8.3. Okay, so 0 0.26. And then I know the point goes here and the eight is on this side of it and the three is on this side of it. So I lined up my decimals. I like to put my sum decimal there before I even do the addition. That's what I like to do, that's my process. And then I add, that's it. Line up the decimals, 
Put the decimal in your sum. Add. Six plus nothing is six. Two plus three is five. My decimal's already lined up. Zero plus eight is eight. And that, my friends, is adding decimals. Okay, last one, 4.98 plus 3.02. Okay, I'm gonna put the point here and I see the three goes before it and the zero goes right behind it and the two goes after that. And look, I have the hundredths in line, the tenths in line, the decimals in line, and the ones in line. And I know I need to line up my decimal. My decimal will be in the same place in the answer as it is in the problem. Now we add. 8 plus 2 is 10, 0, carry the 1. 9 plus 0 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 0, carry the 1. I've already put my point, my decimal point in here. Now I have 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8. So the answer is either just 8 or 8.00. All right, guys, your practice down here, large textbook, volume 1, page 59, you're going to do number 6 through 12. You need to submit a picture to the assignment, and I want you to show your work. I do not want to see you type in an answer. Send me a picture with your work so I can see that you've lined up the decimals. Okay, if you want to see what that looks like, here is page 59 in your book, and you're working on this section right here, 6 through 12. All right, make sure you put a picture of it and show your work. If you need a second, you may pause the video and write down everything on the page. Have a great day.